It looks like the feds are putting a lot of pressure on young Miami to testify against Diddy, and she seems to be cooperating fully. Rumor has it that she's spilling a lot of information and even providing video evidence of Diddy <laughs> his parties. It seems like there may be more victims than we know about, and with Miami's help, Diddy could be in serious trouble. If anyone knows the full story, it's young Miami, as she was reportedly right there when things went down. This whole situation is turning into a big headache for her. Before Diddy's secrets started coming out, Miami used to proudly say she'd never leave him and would always stand by him. But now, she's getting dragged into his legal battles and things she said in the past are being used against her. For example, in Cassie's lawsuit, she accused Diddy of The feds have made similar claims in their charges against him. It seems like young Miami might have gotten herself into a much bigger mess than she expected. The legal documents describe Diddy's as a pattern of manipulation and threats to coerce people into these events. If Miami's evidence is as strong as people say, Diddy's troubles are far from over. These reportedly lasted for several days and involved multiple individuals hired for these events. Diddy allegedly provided to the participants, sometimes without their knowledge, to keep them compliant. It's said that he even recorded these encounters and kept the footage. After these sessions, both Diddy and the participants would often need to recover from the physical strain and a rapper, Sean Diddy Coombs, has been arrested in a New York hotel by Homeland Security agents and taken to an FBI field office. Search warrants were previously executed for his homes in Miami and Beverly Hills in relation to an ongoing criminal investigation into alleged and other offences. Today's action is seemingly in connection to the investigation, with Coombs' attorney telling TMZ Mr Coombs has been nothing but cooperative with this investigation and he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. It comes only months after his former partner, Cassie Ventura, spoke up over alleged <laughs> after CCTV vision surfaced of her being a by him. We will have more updates as they come. When this scandal became public, fans began speculating that Young Miami might have been involved in organizing these events. Although there's no solid evidence, people are pointing to a past incident between Miami and Gina Huyn, one of Diddy's other girlfriends. A few years ago, Gina and Miami were in a heated social media feud over Diddy. Gina posted a photo of Diddy kissing her on the cheek, which made Miami furious. She called Gina out, accusing her of seeking attention, and even hinted at some insider information. This has led people to wonder if Miami's threats were connected to these alleged <laughs> For weeks, people dragged young Miami online, accusing her of being involved in Diddy's shady activities, even if she wasn't directly organizing the events. Many believe that she knew what was happening and chose to ignore it. Things got even worse when Lil Rod's lawsuit came up, Claiming that Miami was a running substances for Diddy, the lawsuit states that whenever Diddy needed something, he knew he could count on Miami. According to court documents, during a rehearsal in Virginia, a witness saw Diddy using substances in his dressing room. When he needed more, his associate Christina called Miami, who brought it to him via private jet. The documents also claim that Miami, along with others like Jade and Daphne Joy, were paid monthly to work for Diddy receiving payments through wire transfers from Robin Greenhill. These details suggest a much larger operation, making it seem like Miami's involvement was deeper than anyone realized. With Diddy's recent indictment, things are getting even more serious. He's facing federal charges, and this is a huge deal. A few months ago, CNN reported that federal investigators were preparing to bring accusations against Diddy before a grand jury. It's clear that this situation is far from over, and young Miami's name is getting dragged deeper into the mess. The US Justice Department is now moving toward possibly indicting Diddy. Investigators have informed potential witnesses that they might be called to testify before a federal grand jury in New York City. If individuals who have filed civil lawsuits against Diddy are brought before the grand jury, it would mark a significant development in the government's ongoing investigation into the music producer and Bad Boy Records founder.
The grand jury has delivered its verdict, and the charges against Diddy are extremely serious. Legal documents claim that he forcing them into situations and subjecting them to This isn't just celebrity drama, it's deeply disturbing. The documents state that this abuse was ongoing and well-known, starting around 2009 and continuing for years. There were even incidents witnessed by others, including one in March 2016 at a Los Angeles hotel, which was reportedly caught on video. In this incident, Diddy Cassie as she tried to leave. A hotel security guard intervened, but Diddy allegedly tried to bribe them into silence. The allegations go beyond just the women. Diddy's behavior reportedly affected his employees and witnesses as well. Law enforcement also found weapons during searches of his homes in Miami and Los Angeles, including AR-15s with defaced serial numbers, adding another layer to the case against him. When employees or witnesses challenged Diddy's authority or reputation, he and his associates allegedly used threats of financial and reputational harm, along with <laughs> to keep them quiet. It's even claimed that he used objects and people to intimidate others. As for young Miami, things could get serious if she's as involved as the feds believe. However, she's no fool and seems to know how to protect herself. It looks like she decided it was time to turn on Diddy. You might remember when she once tweeted, I'll never snitch on you, daddy, but now it seems like she's singing a completely different tune. Right now, Diddy is the only defendant listed, but that could change if others are implicated. There's speculation that many who could have been co-defendants in this RICO case have turned on Diddy to secure immunity. Reports indicate that Young Miami has been very cooperative with the feds and has allegedly provided videos showing Diddy a people at his parties. This aligns with the allegations made in Lil Rod's lawsuit, and the footage reportedly involves several high-profile celebrities. If true, this could have a huge impact on the case and the people connected to it. Fans are divided, with some criticizing Young Miami for not speaking up sooner and others arguing that she should be held accountable for her involvement. Many speculate that Diddy compensated Miami by giving her a show and helping her win podcast awards, which could explain why she received so much recognition over more deserving podcasters. As a result, Miami's name is now linked to Diddy's alleged activities, and things are spiraling out of control. What do you think about this shocking situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.